you want to learn to play guitar and you're wondering, well, what are my options? And basically, there are a lot of options these days. Um, and, and there are good and bad in each one. There, there are pluses and minuses, uh, as with anything. Um, basically, you can go online. Uh, right here on YouTube, there are a lot of YouTube videos that will teach you how to play guitar. Um, the drawback with um, online teaching or watching guitar videos is that you don't have a person, a teacher, to feed back to you and say, ah, make sure your fingers are curved, okay? You should be forming like a C, uh, those kinds of things. So you don't have that feedback. You watch the video and you kind of try to copy it, but you don't have somebody to give you course corrections and say, okay, well, uh, this is what you're doing and you need to change your technique a little bit, especially in the beginning when you're first developing motor skills. So online is an option. Um, but not a bad one, but not necessarily the perfect scenario. As a matter of fact, there is no perfect world. Uh, no matter what, you're going to have to work hard and practice in order to learn how to play any musical instrument, uh, guitar, notwithstanding anything. Um, the second option is uh, similar to YouTube, which is pretty much free. Um, there are paid courses that you can uh, subscribe to and um, they're probably a little bit better and they have a lot of fancy buzzers, whistles and bells. And to be honest with you, I, I saw one online the other day and they were talking about, uh, well, if you only have 10 minutes to practice, this will still work for you. Well, let me tell you something. You need more than 10 minutes of practice. <laughs> 10 minutes, you're just getting your fingers warmed up. So by the time uh, you get warmed up, then after that, you can actually start to make some progress. Uh, but don't kid yourself, there is no magic bullet, uh, regardless of the online course that you choose. Um, nothing wrong with online, online courses, um, but that is an option for you. Uh, another option is to take a class at school. If you're uh, a younger student, if you're middle school, I think a lot of the middle schools, at least in these parts, offer guitar classes and you can take a guitar class and I've taught a lot of those guitar classes myself actually and uh, one of the things that that kind of frustrated me as the teacher uh, in a guitar class is that I didn't have enough time to spend one-on-one -on -one with each student to, to like I said to make those corrections to their technique uh, get them to become better players um, then of course uh, the big option or the, the obvious choice is to go ahead and get a private uh, teacher. And with a private teacher, like say at a music store and where I teach, I teach uh, private lessons twice a week uh, at a music and arts store in Severna Park, Maryland here. And the problem with that option is that you're kind of stuck to a very rigid schedule. Uh, in other words, I'm there on Mondays from five until nine and I see the same student at 5 p.m. on Monday every week. Every week, every week, every week. So that can and cannot be uh, a blessing. Some people need uh, to come sit in front of their teacher to be um, basically have pressure put on them to make sure that they perform. There, there's some accountability there. When you know, you know I got to go see the teacher on Monday evening, I better get my practice in that kind of stuff. Some people benefit that from that and some don't. Um, I would think that ultimately uh, where you want to be is doing a combination of classroom type instruction, which you can do online. There's some of the guitar courses that I mentioned, um, or you know, I didn't mention specific courses, but they're, they're all out there. All I got to do is search for them. And, um, and then have a private teacher that you can see maybe once a month or something like that. Most music stores don't want that. They want you to show up every week because they want you to pay uh, the tuition, okay, which you usually pay monthly in advance. And then if you don't show up for your lesson, you, you, you will uh, usually have to forfeit that money. So some combination of the two is probably the best bet. Um, if you're just starting out, uh, I would suggest you seek out a private teacher at least for a couple of months, uh, get some um, 
start making some progress, then you can maybe slip into doing YouTube videos or an online course, uh, something like that, uh, for a brief period, you know, for maybe uh, five months or four months or something like that. And then get back to the, some, some of my students uh, personally come and go. I mean, I may see them for a couple of months and then they stop taking lessons for a while and they go off and do the thing and then they'll come back, you know, uh, half a year later, they'll come back and resume lessons for another month or two uh, and then take off. So that may be in a, uh, an approach you want to look at as well. Uh, so anyway, the, guys, there are uh, the options that I have off the top of my head. Uh, what's available to you if you want to learn to play guitar. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Up there is my ugly mug. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.